Many patients come to the gynecologist with complaints of heavy menstrual bleeding. On examination, the doctors give them the diagnosis of uterine fibroids. They get alarmed and they go browsing to Dr. Google and finds out that uterine fibroids are tumors. But these tumors are benign, completely curable and have very rare chances of turning into cancer. Hello everyone, I am Dr. Priyanka Das, consultant gynecologist at Altius Hospitals, Bangalore. Today, I will be discussing on the most common gynecological problem that is the uterine fibroids. So, what are fibroids? Fibroids are non-cancerous growth from the uterus. They are also known as myomas or leomyomas, which appears mostly during the childbearing age. They come in single or multiple. The size can be seedling or even huge to enclose the whole of the abdomen. So what are the causes of fibroids? The causes of fibroids are still unknown, but it is called as estrogen dependent tumor. Hence, the size of the fibroids increases during pregnancy and after menopause, the sizes completely shrink. They also have some genetic correlation. So the patients whose met family history of uh, grandmothers or mothers have history of fibroid, even they present as fibroids. Other risk factors that are associated with fibroids are early menarche means the girls who attain men menstruation much earlier in their age and who are mostly used to uh, intake of red meat, increased BMI or increased consumption of alcohols. What are the symptoms? Now if you ask do fibroids present all the time with symptoms? Not necessarily. Sometimes even the huge fibroids patients may not have any symptoms and a tiny single fibroid can cause huge symptoms and deteriorating the patient's day-to-day -day activities. Most common symptoms that the patients with fibroid presence are heavy menstrual bleeding. They give history of changing four to five pads per day with passage of heavy clots. Prolonged periods, the duration of this bleeding will be more than seven to 10 days history of severe pain abdomen during the cycles. Even sometimes the patient gives pelvic pain history and heaviness in the pelvic area. They have problem while passing urine, either increased frequency of passing of urine, otherwise difficulty in passing urine. Also some of the patients come with history of constipation. Many patients even give history of not able to have a child. Most couples, if they are having infertility, we also evaluate them for fibroids. Coming to treatment, now first question is to ask, do all the fibroids need treatment? Many a times there is only one single fibroid with present with no complaints, no difficulty in conceiving. Those fibroids should be just left alone. If you ask what are the treatments? There is medical management as well as surgical management. But however, medical management does not dissolve the fibroid. For us to remove the fibroid, a surgical management is must. Now the treatment depends on the age of the patient, size of the fibroid, number and location of the fibroid, and what is the patient's plan for fertility. If you ask if all the fibroids do need surgery, so not all fibroids needs to be treated. Treatment of fibroids depends on the age of the patient, symptoms related, size of the fibroids, number and location, and most important, what is the plan of the pregnancy. Now do all fibroids need surgery? Not really. Medical management is available for treatment of fibroids. However, fibroid medical management cannot really dissolve the fibroid. It can just 
heal the patient symptomatically. So the surgical management of fibroid, fibroids can be treated by myomectomy or complete removal of the uterus in severe cases. Myomectomy can be done both abdominal as well as laparoscopy. This laparoscopy is a specialized surgical technique wherein we make small holes on the abdomen and remove the big size fibroids. We Altius Hospitals in Bangalore is well known for its best laparoscopy center and with the best equipments used. Our chief medical director Dr. B. Ramesh is an expert in myomectomies. We have been performing myomectomies from past 30 years. Surgical treatment of fibroid includes myomectomy. So this myomectomy can be performed abdominally and laparoscopically. Laparoscopically is a specialized surgical technique where we make small incisions over the abdomen to remove any size of fibroids. Over the past 30 years, we at Altius Hospitals, under the guidance of our chief laparoscopic surgeon Dr. B. Ramesh, have performed more than 1 lakh of myomectomy surgeries. The advantage of this surgery is reduced blood loss during the surgery, post-operative pain is less, early recovery and the maximum stay in the hospital the patient has to stay is 2-3 to three days and she can resume work within 7-10 to 10 days. Over the past 5 years, more than 500 patients were documented to undergo laparoscopic myomectomy with us and the conception rate is more than 82 percent. All these patients have followed up with us post their conception and even delivered with us. So all the ladies out there who are suffering with fibroid, please visit Altius Hospital and get treated for your problems related to fibroid. You can check out our website Altius Hospitals. Thank you.